Hey everybody, this lesson is division with two divisors, two digit divisors. So here's our common uh, core strand. Our, our question is how can we use base 10 blocks to model and understand division of whole numbers? So we're going to use base 10 blocks to um, uh, get a rectangular array. Remember, division, the opposite is multiplication. So uh, you know the dimensions, base times height uh, uh, equals area. So we'll be doing areas of rectangles to show division problems. So uh, Paul has 156 baseball cards. He wishes to put them in rows of 12. How many rows will this make? Okay, so we're going to use base 10 blocks to model the dividend. Remember, the dividend is the number we're dividing by. 156 divided by 12 right here. All right, so here we go. So here's our base 10 blocks. We have 156 here. 156 is the 100. Here's a block of 100. Here's five blocks of 10, and then here's six ones right here. So this is 156, okay? All right, so uh, let's place two tens to the left of the hundreds to form a rectangle. Okay, so I'm going to take these two tens and put them up here. So there's, so now there's 11 going across, okay? And then this is going to be 12. So this is going to represent our divided by 12 part right here, okay? So uh, let's see. So uh, how many groups of 12 does this rectangle show? Well, there's here's one group of 12, two groups of 12, three. Well, it's, it goes all the way down to 10. There's 10 groups of 12 right here. Okay. And then uh, so how much of the dividend is not shown in this rectangle? That's all this leftover stuff. So how much is left over? I see 10, 20, 30, and then the six one. So there's 36. Looks like I got an email there from GoDaddy. All right, and so uh, combine uh, the remaining 10s and 1s into as many groups of 12 as possible. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, slide this down and make it, there's 11 right there, and we're going to do one more, there's 12, okay? And then we'll do that for this one. So there's 11 for that 10, and then 12, and we'll do it for the other one also. So those two are going to come down right down here, okay? So... How many groups of 12 is this? Well, there's three groups of 12 right there. Okay, and then we're going to place these groups of 12 on the bottom to make a larger rectangle that's 12 by something right there. Okay, so far it's 12 by 10 right here. So I've got to twi twi twist them sideways right there. And then I'm just going to slide these up. So there's another uh, group of 12, and we'll just keep doing that and push those other two up there. Okay, so the final rectangle shows how many groups of 12. Okay, one, two, well, we started with 10, and then we added these three on the bottom, so 10 plus 3 gives us 13 groups of 12 right there. All right, so there's going to be, how many rows of baseball cards? There's going to be 13 rows for Paul's baseball cards right there. Okay, so explain uh, why we needed to make uh, uh, groups of 12 after step B. Well, since we were dividing 156 divided by 12, we wanted to see 12 times what gives us 156. The related multiplication sentence says 12 times something equals 156. So we wanted to see what rectangle that had a dimension of 12 gave us this area of 156. And we found out it was 12 by 13. So we needed some more groups of 12 right there. Describe how we can use base 10 blocks to find uh, the quotient 176 divided by 16. Well, we'd start with 176. And then we just make rows of 16 from that 176 to see 16 times what gives us the 176. Okay, all right. So uh, two sets of groups of um, the two sets of groups of 12 we found in the investigation are called p uh, partial quotients. Okay, so the first uh, we found the first uh, partial quotient was 12 by 10. Okay, we did. Uh, 12 rows right here and then it gave us by 10 right here so we had uh, we found 10 groups of 12 right there then uh, we found three more groups of 12 and then so those were our partial quotients here was 10 groups of 12 and then we had uh, the three more groups of 12 right here those were called partial quotients all right sometimes though we may need to regroup before we can show uh, partial quotients and that's what's going to happen in this next one here so we're going to use these kind of stick pictures right here instead of doing the, the, the base 10 blocks so we're going to uh, divide 180 divided by 15 using base 10 blocks we're going to use these models right here instead of the base 10 blocks right here so step one model the dividend 180 as 100 and 810 so here's 100 and then here's 810s these stick figures going across right there all right and then 
Uh, now make a rectangle uh, with the 100 and 5 tens. Okay, so we want to divide it by 15. So we're going to make a, a row of 15 right there. So so there's um, uh, uh, there's the 15 right here, and then this side is still 10 right here, okay? And then this is our leftover stuff we're going to get right there. So this rectangle shows how many groups of 15. Well, how many groups of 15? Well, there's 10, 10 by 15, so 10 groups of 15 right there, okay? And then additional groups of 15 can't be made without regrouping, because these are in 10s. This is 10, 20, 30. So we have to regroup one of these tens is one, so I will replace this one ten right here with ten ones right there, okay? And then, now there are how many tens over here? There's two tens and there's ten ones right there, okay? Which is the same as those three tens that we had, all right? So now we'll decide how many additional groups of 15 can be made with the remaining tens and ones over here. The number of groups is the second partial quotient. So the first partial group quotient is 10 groups of 15. How many more groups of 15 can we get out of here? We know it adds, these add up to 180 because we started with it. So we're going to make uh, the rectangle larger by including these additional groups. So I'll do this with one of these. So I'm going to uh, slide this guy down right here and then uh, I'll twist it sideways right here. So um, so this is going to go on the bottom right here, okay, so, and then I'm going to grab one of these groups of fives right here, and then this is going to give us one more group of 15 right here, okay, so that's going to come down, and we'll just slide that over, okay, and then, so that can go right up there, so there's another group of 15, 10 plus 5, I'll do that with this one also, so we're going to get two more groups of 15, so it becomes plus two more groups. So now, how many groups of 15 do we have? We have 10 groups of 15 plus two more groups of 15. There are going to be 12 groups of 15 right there. So 180 divided by 15 is 12, we found out, with, uh, by doing the partial quotients. So how did this model uh, show the uh, quotients right there? How did it explain how the model shows the quotients? Well, we began with 180, remember, and then this rectangle showed a um, uh, rectangle of 180 now shows the dimension that it's 15 by 12. So 15 times 12 is 180. So the related division uh, sentence would be 180 divided by this number is going to be this number right here, 180 divided by 15. Remember, division and multiplication are, are inverse relations of each other. Hey, if you guys can, would you guys click like on this video?